Hi, this is Larry Lursey. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Topaz Adjust AI. Now, AI is the latest version of Topaz Adjust, which has been around for a while. I know I've been using Adjust probably for about 15 years, and honestly, it was awesome back then. And it's just gotten better every few years. They come out with a new version, and the latest here is this AI. And it's a really great program for adding additional impact and pop to your images. You can go to Topaz Labs website. There's a link, link in the description if you want to download a tutorial of it. Um, I can even tell you at the end of the video, I'll let you know how to get a discount if you want to purchase it yourself. So we're going to jump right in here and take a look at how this software works. So what we have right here is a travel shot. I think Topaz Adjust works great with travel shots when you want to try and bring out color and punch and things like that. So this is the sample we're going to use. One thing I always recommend when you're using uh, the Topaz plugins or really any sort of actions and things that you're doing to your images, do it on another layer so that you've always got control to go back later to where you started. So I'm going to drag this down here to the little plus, make a copy of it, and I'm just going to call this Adjust AI. All right, so here we go. We're ready. We're on the Adjust layer. Let's go up here and start up the program. Okay, here we are inside Adjust AI, and it's pretty simple to navigate. Your image is right here. Up here is how you want to view it. Um, you can do a, like a dual screen where you see the before and the after. Right now they're the same because we haven't applied any uh, effects yet, but you've got your different ways of looking at the images up here. And down here are your presets, where Topaz kind of gives you a variety of different looks uh, at what it could do to this image. There's featured, there's HDR, stylized, all different, pretty self-explanatory for the different looks. And I certainly encourage you to dig through those and take a look at all the options. But we're going to start out just looking at the featured, and you can see it has a whole bunch of them that you can very easily just uh, decide that you like one of them, click on it and apply it, and pretty much you're back into Photoshop. But what we're going to do is do a little more advanced look at this and go up here to Controls, which opens up this panel here. And the cool thing about the uh, controls are you can do everything in here from you know, sharpening, split toning it, uh, adjusting the color temperature, brightness, contrast. All these things are, have all kind of been put in together and that's basically what these presets are up here. Someone has gone through and made all the adjustments to these and saved a preset. And so what we're looking here is kind of a behind the scenes. Here's all the little knobs and dials to adjust everything. What's kind of an in-between is up here on the auto adjust AI. So you're not quite starting with a preset, but you're also not starting from scratch down here. And what the AI will do is kind of take a look at this image, decide what it thinks would look look best for it, and go ahead and make some uh, adjustments. You can either do a standard or HDR. I find that the HDR is a little too strong of an effect for most images, so I tend to go with the standard. So we're just going to click on standard, and there you go. It's a pretty strong uh, effect. Let's go to the split screen so we can see. Here's the before and the after, and it's pretty dramatic. And, you know, that's one of those things you, you may think it's too much and um, you can dial things back a little bit or you may even want it to go further and you push them. But you kind of decide where you want to go once you see it. And so we can take a look at this. Once it's been set, we can start going through and adjusting some of these other settings. So let's say we want to also add a little bit um, of sharpening down here in detail. So we'll go to say the uh, small detail, bring that up a tiny bit, we'll do the medium up a little bit. There we go. You could uh, add a little bit of grain to it, bring that up a touch. Just kind of depends on the exact look that you want. And you know, like I said, you could play with any of these different images through here. You maybe bring a punch up the shadows just a touch. And then once you kind of get it how you like it, you dial it all in, you say this looks perfect right here, 
you come right up here and hit add and it's going to let us create our own preset and we will call this uh, my new preset then all we have to do is if we have other images that we want to have this exact same look we just can come back here to presets go under my collection and there's the my new preset and we can apply this to multiple and this is really nice if you do this image and then all of a sudden you realize that uh, you know what I like the next frame better where the boat was in the scene or a boat had left or someone's walking through the scene and you want this exact same look so you don't have to go back and try and figure it out all over again you can apply that exact same look to multiple images so it works really nicely so once we've got it how we want it like this I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply now we're back in Photoshop up here is our adjust AI there's the before and the after and so this is where it's really good to have this on its own layer get in a little bit closer here because if you see right here we can take this down with the opacity and get it into a little more manageable range so if you feel like that's too much bring it down to 70 percent now we're still getting a lot of punch but we haven't gone as crazy with with the contrast and the, and the color saturation let's just drop back a touch and take a look at it so again there's the before and the after so it really gives it a ton of boost and like I said what's great about it is you can totally customize it and so what you'll you typically want to do is go in pull up one of those presets that gets as close as you can get to what you've got in your brain and then hit the little controls button and go back and fine-tune it until it's exactly what you want save that as your own preset and after a while you'll start developing a style that you like in Topaz and you'll have all these presets that kind of reflect your specific taste and how you like the software to look so that's pretty much how how you use it make sure you leave a comment let me know uh, if you've had much experience with Topaz and you know, which some of your favorite presets are in the software but it really is uh, really handy check out the uh, link in my description and um, you can download a demo also if you will use the coupon code Larry photo that will get you 15 percent off which is a nice little extra bonus for you so hope that helps please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos so we can keep them coming and I will see you soon take care bye bye